Alright, Shalom. First, I'll give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught me his truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there to the four corners of the earth, pushing his word in all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. It's the brother Kazat from GMI Charlotte, man. You know, um, just come back with you with another lesson. And, you know, we're going to get straight into it, man. You know, uh, this is uh, the book of Joel, chapter 2. Verse 1, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Time, man. And that's what, you know, the men of the Lord are doing, man. You know, blowing the blowing the trumpet, you know, sound an alarm in Israel, man. All right? And um, back um, in the ancient world, you had watchmen um, on the watchtowers when they saw danger coming into, um, coming towards the, uh, the city. You know, they blew the trumpet, man. All right. The trumpet represented some something that was coming. All right. So I'm going to read it again. It says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Time, man. Yeah, so we're blowing the trumpet in Zion. Zion mean um, memorial of Israel, man. All right. We're blowing into you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man, to see to your father, man, to come back to the Heavenly Father, man, or get punished in, in the wrath that's to come, man. All right, that, that's the trumpet that we're blowing, man. We are telling, we are bringing you, trying to bring you back to your nationality. Ultimately, Yahweh Shem is going to sell the elect. But we're just, um, we're out here telling our people that they need to come back to the Heavenly Father, man. It says, um, in sound and alarm in my holy mountain, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Yahweh cometh, for it is nigh at hand, kind. We're letting, telling the people so they tremble, man, and then they get right, man, because we know the day of the Lord, the day of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is at hand, man, all right? And it's close, man, you know? They said the mark of the beast is right here in our faces in America, man, being pushed, you know, on on a greater scale than it, than it has before, man. It's going to be even, it's going to be, be pushed even more harder in, in these times to come, all right? Um, World War Three, we're in it right now. We're just waiting for the climax to happen. All right, when they start drafting people over over to the uh, Middle East and really start get it popping. All right, and then the nuclear missiles fly over here in America. Um, when when Yahweh Shai gets back, man, the nuclear missiles go fly off and hit America and hit various parts of the um the earth. But hit when it when these two hundred million missiles hit America, man, the whole mist of America will be turned into ashes, man. All right, and dust, man. Dust saith the scriptures, man. All right, it says, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of Yahweh cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Yeah, man, it's, it's close, you know, you know, yeah, and of course, we don't know exactly when Yahweh Shai is coming back, but he gave us signs, man. All right. He gave us signs and wonders to 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 know when um when he's close, man. And um currently today is a. Uh, um. August 21st, you know, 8, 8.35, 8.36 a.m. And, hey, the solar eclipse is going to happen today, man. All right? So, the, what, those, that day, man, those are one of the signs that Yahweh Shai is coming back real soon, man. All right? And a, a lot of things about to happen upon this planet Earth, man. All right? It says, verse 2, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and a thick darkness. Yeah, man. So the day of Yahweh Bashi Mashah, the day of the Lord, is a day of darkness and gloominess, man. A lot of death and destruction is about to be out here, man. All right? When you, when the Lord comes back, and when the Lord prepares and um, has things happen before he comes back, these times are not going to be light, man. All right? These times are not going to be fun and dandy, man. You see everybody out here partying and clubbing, man. Well, they, they don't know what's to come, man. Because if you're in your right mind frame, you know these scriptures, man. You're preparing yourself to see a lot of dead bodies out here, man. All right? It says, um, a day of darkness, a day of gloomy and of gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there have not been ever like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is the garden of Eden before them, and behold, a desolate wilderness, yeah, and nothing 
shall escape them. So yeah, man, when the nuclear hits, missiles hit America, nothing's gonna escape them, man. All right, only only the elect are gonna escape it. The the, the grace and, and, and mercy of Yahweh by Shemrasha, man. But even the scriptures say the the uh, the righteous shall be scarcely saved, man. All right, and I'm gonna get that. Cause you, what you don't understand, man, is that you know the elect are trying to do the right thing, and you know, ultimately that's what Yahweh Shema uh who he cares about. All right, but he, these times are gonna be so so heavy, man, that people out here are gonna wonder if there's a God, and that's in the scriptures, man. They're gonna, they you know, the Lord said when um when Yahweh Shema Shai comes back, shall he find faith on the earth? No, the only ones that are gonna have faith is the elect, man. All right. Let me look for it. Stuck here. You know, I'm gonna get another scripture while uh, I can find it at the moment. It says, uh, "Hi, all right, yeah, because we gotta endure until the end, man. Because, like I said, there's a lot of things that'll be going on, but you can't get weak, man. All right. It says, uh, this is the." This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 13. And ye shall be hated of all men from for my name's sake. Come, man. So we're going to be hated for this word, man, because we bring it out, man. People don't like to be scared, man. You know, that's that's one thing Jay don't, Jake don't like to be um in a fearful mindset. And when you try to bring the truth or reality to him, man, he gets mad at you, man. All right? So it says, and ye shall be hated of all all men for my name's sake because we're coming in the name of Yahweh Shah, man. We're coming in the name of truth, man. All right, and you can't, we're coming in truth, man. We're preaching with Yahweh by Shema Shah. And Jake likes and Jake and all these other people in, of this world, man, like lies, man. They like to sit in lies and like to sit in la la land, man. All right, but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved, man. So if he endure to through all the hardship, man, that that's to come through all the Horrible sights that we're gonna see, the horrible and terrible wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, because it's right around the corner, man. Like, hey, martial law, you know, that's gonna be, you know, something that Jake, like I said, the hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble, like we never seen on 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 this earth ever, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be gruesome and crucial, man. All right, the day of the Lord is 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 darkness and not light, man. All right. So why why do you why do these people um glory in saying they want the Lord to come back, man? Because they don't know the the consequent uh, the um the um the, uh the things leading up to the Lord coming back, man. They don't know they don't know those things, man. They don't read their Bible, man. But we, as the men of the Lord, we know what's gonna come, man. All right, it got to get bad for it to get better, man. All right. Um, all right, let me go back to uh, Joel. All right, the book of Joel, uh, chapter 2, verse 4. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so so shall they run. Yeah, man, let's talk about the nuclear missiles, man, all right? Because the whole end game of America is to be hit by 2,000 million missiles, man, by, according to the scriptures, man, all right? It says, um, verse 5, like the noise of chariots... On the tops of the mountain shall they leap, like the noise of the flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. Before their face the people shall be shall be much pained, all faces gathered blackness. They shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the wall like men of war, 
and they shall march every one on his ways and they shall not break the ranks man so these missiles are not going to hit each other blow up in the air and stuff like that you know they're going to make them they're going to hit their target wherever yahweh has a specific missile to hit it's going to hit that target with no problem man all right you gotta have one missile inner inner crossing each other and they're not gonna they're not gonna hit each other and blow up man one's gonna go over real clean the other one's gonna go over real clean man all right hit the destination where it's supposed to be all right, where you help us from our midst to hit, man. All right, I'm not gonna break their ranks, man. It says, uh, say, neither shall one thrust another kind, bump into each other, accidentally blow up. They shall walk everyone in his path, and they shall fall upon the sword. They shall not be wounded. Kind, because there's no stopping those missiles, man. All right, when they drop, when they drop, it's end game, man. And that in that time, you gotta have faith that your Habba Shema is gonna deliver you, man. You know, I'm talking to the brothers that's in the faith and the believers, man. You gotta have faith that your Habba Shema is gonna believe you and call upon that name, man. All right. It says, for they run to and fro in the city, and they shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. And shall enter in the widows, enter in at the widows like a thief. Kind man, because these people are not gonna see this when this come. You know, we over here telling these people out here at the Spirit Empire, how about you now? Shot the nuclear missiles is coming to America. All right, that a bunch of death and destruction is coming to America, and they just not gonna hear it. So it's gonna hit them like a thief in the night, man. They're not gonna see it, man. All right. What the, uh, the Lord said that in, in days of Noah, they were eating and drinking and giving into marriage, man. And that's a hey, we, brother's experience that can't pass people giving into marriage and all this bullshit, man. Not knowing that, hey, man, y'all niggas about to die. Not all right. Um, let's see. Uh, it's a, um, verse 10. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble, the sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And Yahweh shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, and he is strong that executeth his word. For the day of Yahweh is great and very terrible, and can and who can abide it, man? All right. So the day of Yahweh Shimon Shah is very terrible, man. All right, you know, um, and in the apocrypha, um, I believe it says, uh, you know, uh, horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation, man. All right, so the things that we're about to see is is horrid, man. You know, to what's, ha what's ha gonna happen to these two thirds? Well, so we're not a part of that number, man. All right, it's gonna be a horrid scene out here, man, because the Lord ain't playing, man. He's gonna show his his true power in these last days, man. All right, and it says, um, um, and here's the point to, to the brothers and sisters in the faith who are coming to the faith, even to brothers that's in the faith now, man, that's been in it for years and stuff. Um, there, therefore, also now, save Yahweh, turn ye even to me with all your heart. So turn to Yahweh by Shema with all your heart, man, all right? With all your heart and mind, man, stay in the spirit. Try to stay in the spirit as much as you can, man. It, it, it is it is um important, super important, man. All right? Stay in the spirit as much as you can, man. All right? Turn ye to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning, man. Yeah, man, because the, the scriptures say, you know, um, uh, I was, uh, um, one one is just a um a wise man is um roughly paraphrasing oppression makes a wise man mad, all right. Another thing he's like um, the Lord is only good save those who are, are who are weeping, all right for for the destruction to come, man, all right. You know you know I'm I'm gonna get it real fast, you know. I don't like really um quoting stuff. This is a. Uh, I believe it's in the book of Ezekiel. Fine, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, verse 1. 
verse 4. And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, which is a people before its place, man. All right. And set a mark upon their foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that are done in the midst of. And the word mark, and, uh, and this, and this uh, verse means a, 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 um, a, a stamp basically of, a, of exemption from judgment. All right. So we got to pray to you um, that we, we are um, those men that are crying um, and sighing for the abominations that are done in the midst of the Yahweh Shai put a mark of exemption from judgment upon us, man. All right. So like I said, it's about to get real, it's real hard out here, man, and uh, real gruesome and real cruel out here, man. And the only way you're going to get through it is if you call upon the name of Yahweh Shai and you believe and he hears you, man. All right. And it says, um, this is Joel chapter 2, verse 13. Um, all right, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Um, and to rend your heart and not your garment, and to turn unto Yahweh your power, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and great, and of great in kindness, and repent of him of the evil man. So if you sincere, Yahweh Shem Yah Shai is gonna hear you, man. If you're the of the elect, I should say even more. If you if you're of the elect, the Lord's gonna hear you, man. Alright? No matter what you're going through, the Lord's gonna hear you and he's gonna help you, man. He's gonna he's gonna um um he's gonna take um your your repentance, man. He's gonna hear it and he's gonna forgive you, man. Alright, if you're of that elect, man, that one hundred forty four thousand and the one third, man. He's gonna hear you, and he's he's gonna and he's gonna um forgive forgive you of your sins, man. All right, but um yeah, man. So you know, basically that's it, man. I, um, like I said, there's a lot of things going on right now. Um, and prophecy, the mark of the beast, you know, World War Three, you know, brothers are staying up upon their watch and stuff. But um, the the day of Lord, the day of the Lord is darkness and gloominess, man. So. Keep staying in spirit, pray, you know, always, as the scriptures say, and just, you know, um, hey, ask the Lord to increase your faith, man, because the times that we're coming in, your faith is going to be, just going to be tried, man, and he's going to test to see if you're down the ride, man, all right, so with that, you know, I hope this was edifying, brothers and sisters, you know, that are watching, um, hey, stay strong, don't take the chip, and, uh, and until next time, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, who Wu Wong taught me this truth. And shalom on to all the birds out there to the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom.